Hello everyone, I welcome you all to part 4 of Python programming series and this is Ram Prasad Pujari. So this is the agenda for today. Uh, in this session we will be focusing on 6 built in functions which are listed here. ABS is the first function, bin, hex, POW, round and sorted. Uh, the previous sessions, part 3 we discussed about how Python functions can be created and uh, how we can get a user defined function we saw that and how you can use the user defined functions in a program uh, we also saw some of the built in functions very important built in functions we come across in python and in part 2 we discussed about variables and data types so where we saw about uh, like data types like integer float list tuple etc and part one was about Python programming environments where I introduced you to IDLE and JupyterLab. Now for today's session, I'll be using JupyterLab. So let us just look at uh, today's uh, agenda. So these are the list of functions that we're going to discuss today. The first function is ABS, which returns an absolute value or magnitude of a number. So then we have uh, bin which is another built in function and this will return the binary equivalent of an integer so similarly hex will return the hex equivalent of an integer pow uh, which returns x to the power y where two parameters we need to pass so then we have a round as the name indicates it rounds of a given number to a number of decimal values so then we have a sorted built-in function which will sort a list of objects in ascending or descending order. So I will give you a demonstration and I will show you uh, how each function works. So these are the six built-in functions that we are going to discuss today. Uh, the first function is ABS. This will return the absolute value of the number. I will take an example ABS of minus 2 and let me run the code. And you can see that you will get a positive value. And similarly, I can also compute the absolute value of a complex number 3 plus 4G, 3 is the real part, 4 is the imaginary part. And uh, ABS function will give me the absolute or magnitude of this complex number that is 5. And for a complex number, as we know, the absolute value will be computed by taking the square root of a real square plus imaginary square. So that is square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which will be equal to 5. We'll move on to the second built-in function, which is BIN, stands for binary. And this particular function will give me the binary equivalent of an integer. So let me compute the binary equivalent of 8. 8 is an integer value and you can see that uh, the binary equivalent is 1 0 0 0 4 binary digits or 4 bits are used to represent the integer 8 and 0 B is the prefix used for binary equivalent the next uh, built-in function is hex and this will give me the hexadecimal equivalent of an integer so let me again uh, uh, take an example. Let's say compute the hexadecimal equivalent of 255. And so that will be equal to FFH. As you know that a hexadecimal has 16 values, 0 to 9 and A to F. And uh, the hexadecimal equivalent of integer 255, that's equal to FF. And 0x is the prefix used for hexadecimal representation. The next built-in function here is POW, which will give me uh, the power of, we can say that this, is, this will give me the x to the power of y. And I'll pass two variables here, two parameters. The first one is x, second one will be y. In that case, uh, this particular built-in function will return x to the power of y. So let me take x as 2 and y as 3. Then this will return 2 to the power 3 which will be equal to 8. 
So these are the two parameters which will be passed here to this particular built-in function. Uh, so let us move on to the next uh, built-in function which is a round as the name indicate. Uh, this built-in function will return the, uh, the rounded off value and let me just take uh, the built-in function and I'll be passing two parameters here. The first one is a number which I want to round it off. Let me uh, let me take the number, let me take a fraction here, 2.1345 and comma 2. The first parameter is the number which I want to round it off and the second parameter is the, it indicates the number of uh, decimal values uh, while using, while ra rounding up this particular number. So that means the second uh, digit is 2 which indicates that I want to round it up to two decimal values here. So let me just check what will I get. So here you can see that uh, 2.1345 is rounded up to 2.13 that means only two decimal values and the third decimal value is less than 5. So in that case uh, this will uh, you know this will be rounded up to that nearest integer that is 2.13. And uh, let, us, let us take uh, one more number, 2.136, and let me check. So it's going to be 2.14, because 2.136 is close to 2.14, and this 2 indicates 2 decimal value. Now, if I do not specify the second parameter, by default, that will be considered as 0. In that case, uh, this will be rounded up to the nearest integer. So that's going to be 2. If this is 2.6, in that case, this will be rounded up to 3. So that is about the round built-in function. We'll move on to the next built-in function, which is the last built-in function in this session. Uh, as the name indicates, this particular built-in function is used to sort the list of objects in the ascending or descending order. So let me take a list, list of objects, we discussed about list uh, in the second session. So if you have not watched the second session, you can please watch. A has four objects here and this is a list. Now I can sort it. I can sort A. I'll pass just one parameter here and that is this list. Sorted is the built-in function and you can see, okay. So I'll just, uh, this is already in the uh, ascending order. Let me just uh, change the order. Let's say 2, 4, 1, and 6. So you can see that 2, 4, 1, 6, and I can arrange it in the ascending order. So I'll get 1, 2, 4, 6. Now if I want to reverse the order, or if I want to arrange it in the descending order, then I can pass the second parameter, a reverse, and I can equate it to a keyword true. So in that case, this is a reserved keyword in Python, true. And uh, so this will be, this will be, you know, sorting this list in a descending order. So sorted is a function which is used to arrange the list or maybe a tuple in the ascending or descending order. Uh, we discussed about different types of variables in second session. If you have not watched, please watch those videos. And uh, for today, these are the six built-in functions. Uh, next se session, we'll focus on modules. We'll learn about what are Python modules and how you can install them. And uh, we'll try to discuss about some important uh, Python modules. Thank you.